Welcome back, this is Gunny Boy. We are playing Deuce X. And we are Hey boss, you been up to see Mr. Seraph yet? Ask me to reply. Oh, excuse me. Um We need everyone on high alert. It's not only the pro odds you might want to get a tag. The, uh, anyway, we're, we're playing Park? 2 sex Seraph Industries. We're in Seraph Industries. And it's been a long day. Long night. Just kicked me out of his office saying he didn't have time for staff support. I'm not trying to avoid anything. With all due respect, Mr. Cannon, I can't believe we're letting that arrogant bastard Taggart sniff around our building. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Seraph? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Hmm. Interesting. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Not just yet. You got a lot of balls coming here. After your followers attacked our plant. What makes you think you'd be welcome? They were not my followers, Mr. Jensen. The Humanity Front is a peaceful organization. Radicals have no place in it. Right. Do you know why I formed this organization? Because I saw a technology about to run rampant. You yourself seem to be living proof of it. I'd be dead without these enhancements. I understand that. I also understand that on an individual level, these issues can be complicated. But we must look beyond our personal interests if we are to see mankind survive the next century. We'll survive, all right. With or without your condolences.
Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? <laughs> I what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now, but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board, Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. You went behind my back on this one, boss. With all due respect, you hired me to keep this place secure. But I can't do that if you are not 100% straight with me. Why are you getting so defensive? All I'm saying is we should be looking forward, Adam, not back. You may not realize this, but there is a war going on out there. A war to control intellectual property rights and cutting-edge science. And as Commander-in-Chief of this company, I have to be ready for anything. I hired you, instead of that private security company Frank wanted, because I needed somebody loyal, somebody who understands chain of command. I think I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed, backtraced, and stolen by the men who attacked us. Our enemies might still find a way to hurt us with it. I wasn't criticizing you, Adam. But I suppose you raise a good point. I just wonder if you're being a bit paranoid here, fixating on details that aren't critical. I mean... Are you so shaken up by what happened six months ago, by your failure to make a difference then, that you can't roll with the punches anymore? Damn it, Adam! I brought you back in today because you have an immediate crisis to deal with. Questioning me about things that don't matter isn't going to bring Megan back. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. We were. She, she doesn't. I mean, Adam, you're missing the point. The data I streamed had nothing to do with Megan or her work. It was just a routine, fact-finding check that sprang from one of our discussions. The kind of check I have to run quite often around here, believe it or not. Now, if somebody backtraces the transmission and gets a look at it, I very much doubt they'll know what to do with it. Trust me, we're fine. Boss, six months ago, mercenaries knew stuff about this company that I didn't, and used it to get past my security measures. 
I don't really care what kind of secrets you and Megan were keeping back then. I just want to make sure they don't endanger us again. What exactly are you implying, son? That I would endanger my own staff to cover my indiscretions? I've been willing to give you a bit of leeway here, considering everything you've been through these past months, but let's not forget why it is you're even alive. Honestly. Are we done here? Because we still have to discuss our next move. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development. Self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. going to China. This is going to be a little bit short. But it's well worth it. Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city. And most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. actually should have um, I don't know whether they're called a plane or a helicopter but a flying device that device a flying um, vehicle that can actually do that take up take up very clean and fly. Oh, okay, and then fly straight at high speeds 
from my helicopter. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengsha Court Gardens? It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. All right, so we are going to take a break. It's been it has been too long, but um, we're going to go ahead. When we get back, we're going to start the mission. Don't stay here, la wai. This is very dangerous. You see, you are very Hey, do you know how to get to the the Hong Hong Hua Hong Hong Hua Hong Hua Hotel. Ah, I see. Someone's looking for some action, eh? <laughs> looking for a good time in Hansa. I recommend you try the Hive nightclub. Two for yeah, one drink doing? night, every hey, night. But we're going to, when we get back, we're going to basically... What are you looking for? <sighs> pull off this mission here. And, um, see what's going on. So we're going to take a break right after this load screen. And, um... Here, when we come back... Going to uh, oh. wonder what's up here. When we get back, we're going to uh, go and do the main mission stuff. I'm just curious to see what's up here. Hey, American, go Yankees! You want good time? Go to the high. You want better time? Find the Hong Hua. Beautifulest women in Hangsha. Ah, a visitor to the Lord. The high. It's all so. I wonder where the high is. That's, uh, that looks almost like something that I've seen nowadays. Just I think bringing in Bell Tower to call it a scooter. Hello. Who is it? Well, I'm not afraid. Bell Tower's got the whole apartment complex locked down. I need to get something Nobody in my apartment. I don't care what kind of operation is going on. Sorry, pal. No one's allowed in right now. I need to get something in my apartment. I don't care what kind of operation is going on. I see. So we're going to have to do this the hard way. Sorry. 
Oh, I don't want to kill these guys. So. That sucks. That means I'm too high. That, that literally looked like I plunged face first to my death. Alright, let's try this again. We got a couple minutes. Malik, you might have been right about that trap. Hengsha Court Garden is under lockdown by Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hengsha, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. You think the Chinese... I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse. Okay. I could have just avoided everything and not dropped it. Okay. Um, actually, let me do that. Let me see if it'll take me back way back. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> I think bringing in Bell Tower to police the city is a great thing for Shanghai. Sure. Alright, so this is the proper way to do it.
might have been right. About so, what we're gonna do this one more time. One more time, so this time we're not gonna run and alarm people. Oh man, if only my sprint was la la lasted longer. I think bringing in Bell Tower to police this city is a great thing. Hello. Malik, you might have been right about that trap. Hengsha Court Garden is under lockdown. By Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hengsha, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. You think the Chinese... I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse. So, we got in quiet. There's no alarms or anything like that. Almost at the bed house. Oh, it's also been almost 15 minutes.
Access granted. Get word to Pritchard, Malik. The hacker who's been attacking us goes by the handle Windmill. Real name's Ari Van Bruggen. Bell Tower's been brought in to arrest him. Arrest? Or get rid of? Either way, he found out someone was gunning for him and took off. We need to find him. There's a nightclub near where I dropped you called The Hive. It's notorious in black market circles. If this Dutchman is running, his first stop will be there. I'll have a chat with the owner. Two of them there. Alright, since we got a good idea on where on somebody who's running. Okay, well that fixes that curiosity. This is the other word I could have taken. Jensen, figured you might want a heads up before you stroll into the hive. The owner's name is Tong Si Hung, Tong being his last name. Rumor is, he's tied to the triads. China's organized crime lords. How wonderful. Anyone else want a piece of this pie? <laughs> So when we get back, we're going to head off to the hive because I was going to do that originally. And um, 
So we're going to go ahead and do that. When we get back, we're going to have a little conversation. If I can manage to get to, to get there. There we go. So we're going to oh did that. So we're gonna take a break since it's been long enough. I know I keep saying that, but I take a break since it's been long enough. And until next time I will see you all later.